Hey, what's up guys? I'm V Rose and this is my weekly V. Okay, so for my first week, I thought I would do something fun. Um, considering that my birthday just passed, which is why I have all these balloons here. Thank you in advance for all of the birthday wishes I got. I like got a million and I read them all. It was awesome. So, um, <laughs> I thought I would take you guys through my makeup bag. Come on, tell me that doesn't sound awesome. So, um, obviously I have a rather large makeup bag and it's going to take me a while. So I'm just going to go as fast as I can. So, all of my makeup looks like dirty because <laughs> you know how it is. Like the eyeliner gets all over. So this is one of my favorite First favorite things, Naked 3 palette, um, has all like the plum tone stuff, colors, eyeshadows, bleh, can't talk today. Um, <laughs> um, and then I, that's by Urban Decay, and then I also use the Naked Skin Makeup Foundation. Makeup Foundation. Um, and I use color, what color do I use? 3.0. Which it changes between winter and summer. I have to change colors because my skin is so fair. So yeah, I love it. I've been using that for like a year now. Uh, what else is in here? I've been using this Leo Le BB cream. And um, it's SPF 30. And it's like a whitening cream. So it makes your face look like really flawless. Um, which I love. And the only thing is that it's like really yogurty feel to it. Um... So, you have to add like powder over it to make it look more matte because no one wants to look oily. So, but it is a really cool thing. I use it sometimes, it's really thick. Um, since we're on Urban Decay, I'm just gonna go through. This looks so dirty, it doesn't come looking like this. It's just <laughs> been in this mess of makeup. But this is their makeup setting spray, D Slick, and I use this before shows or like on tour, um, before I go on stage because. Obviously, I sweat when I'm jumping around up there, and um, this helps my makeup stay in place, and it's amazing, and I love it, and I'd never go without it. <laughs> okay. Oh, next. Gosh, let's talk about this little guy. Beauty Blender. Um, I actually posted this when I first got it, and it's, it's dirty right now, so I'm kind of hiding it. Um, but it is amazing, and it makes your skin, makes your makeup go on super flawless, and I also got the little soap thing. To wash it. Obviously, haven't been using that. So, it smells good like lime or something. Um, I use this age defying moisturizer by Olay. And I usually switch moisturizers every couple of months just because my skin gets used to it and then it doesn't work anymore. So, yeah, me and skin problems, we go way back. So, that's that. Um, oh, this is my newest favorite. Um, perfume Roller Juicy Couture. It has the Noir and the Viva La Juicy. Tell me you don't love it. I know you're lying. So, uh, another Urban Decay, the Naked Flushed. What is this? Um, this is a bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Um, so you can see like the colors. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I liked it a lot at first. Now I, it's like, eh. Uh, and I also have the Naked Basics palette. I know I love Urban Decay, obviously. Um, this is cool for just like everyday look, which recently I haven't been wearing eyeshadow because I've been wearing lots of eyeliner and you don't really need eyeshadow or you'll look, well, it looks good at night, but during the day it could look too made up and I like to go for more of a natural look, so. Next I have Hard Candy Blush, which I think is really cool for daytime and it's like pretty um, natural and glowy. It has like a little glow. Um, I love these little baby lips um, chapsticks and I have like a ton of them so we'll find more. But this one is, what color is this? I have no idea. It's pink. Oh, Pink Punch Lip Balm. Love it. Carmex, Carmex, tons of Carmex. Carmex is my favorite. It's like my best friend because when I'm on stage, I can't wear lip gloss because my hair, I'll go like this. And then I have this huge stuck 
piece of hair to my face, so I'm constantly doing this, and that's just, that's horrible. So, Carmex is my best friend, because then that doesn't happen. Um, this is Beauty Rush Lip Gloss by Victoria's Secret. I don't buy this. My bestie buys this for me. <laughs> and if I ever have these, it's because she buys them, because I don't buy them, but I love them, and once a year I get one. So, um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, I'm sure you know what this is. If you don't have it, you need it in your life. You put this on and your eyeshadow is the color that it is in the palette and it's amazing and it's not going anywhere. Um, Vaseline, this is how I get off my makeup. It comes off so easy. If you didn't know that trick, get a tissue, use Vaseline and it comes off super easy. Um, it doesn't take a lot either. Um, this is an old container to something at the body shop, but I made my own lip scrub out of it and I got the recipe off Pinterest and I think it was like salt, sugar, a little olive oil, a um, little bit of old lip balm, you could add glitter or whatever and you kind of mix it all together and maybe missing an ingredient. But um, I use this before I put like lipstick on so it gets all the dead skin off and you don't have that weird bumpy look. Um, so it's awesome and it was super inexpensive to make. This is by Sephora and this is their eye glitter plus primer. And a lot of you guys probably have seen me with the glitter on. Um, you just put on the primers on top and then you twist it off. And I don't know if you can see the glitter. Gold is like my favorite glitter because it matches my hair. <laughs> but um, I just only use this for shows and like events and stuff and it's fun. Sometimes we'll just put it right here and then blend it up. Mm -hmm. You can put it all over your eye. I don't really like that at first, so I don't know. Um, this is the most amazing glitter eyeliner, and this is heavy metal, but this is by Urban Decay, and it's like, it goes on like so perfectly. I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna look horrible. Um, yeah. What else is in here? A Sharpie, just in case anybody wants autograph. I need to wash that. Um, this is... Urban Decay Brow Box, which I had loved for like the longest, but now I'm looking for something else. So, any suggestions, please? I'm open. But basically, you put the, um, comes with these cute little brushes in the bottom, and they're like tiny, and um, you dip it in the wax, put the wax on, and then it has the color up top, and love it. This is like a free sample I got from Sephora. And it's Glam Glow. I haven't tried it yet. So it's supposed to make your eyes look like celebrity eyes. I have no idea. Mm, brushes that are broken. And this is my big MAC brush. What number is this? 136. And I put everything on with this. <laughs> um, another baby lips. What kind is this? Cherry Me lip balm. So, ooh. This was actually my favorite color because... It makes my lips look kind of pink, see, like, it has, like, a little bit of a red to it. I have no idea what this looks like right now. Um, this is just another brush I got from, like, Sally's Beauty in a free thing, and I don't really use it. Um, this is my newest, I want to say my newest edition, which is the Urban Decay, again. Um, super saturated, waterproof cream eyeliner. It's like amazing. I don't have it on right now because there's no need. But like if it's nighttime, it super darkens your eyeliner. So I put it on like over my liquid eyeliner to kind of fill in the the blanks, <laughs> the spots. Um, but I love it, and it you have to put it on with like an angled brush, but it's cool. So that's that. I probably should just show you guys these. Like I don't know. Um, this is Maybelline New York Light. What is this? This is um, concealer. I don't use it because I bought it and I didn't like it. But yeah. This mascara is by New York and it actually is really good. It's like a, it was like a dollar and I kind of went on this dollar binge at Rite Aid and got like everything that was a dollar. And I like it sometimes. It's cool for like, it's really saturated. It's like dark black. 
So, this is another, yeah, you can tell I like this one. This is another New York um, eyeliner, and it's just a regular pencil. Um, okay, um, mascara. You know what? I am hunting for a good mascara, so if you have any suggestions, which I'm sure you do, let me know. But right now, I use Great Lash. Basic, you can't go wrong with basic, and classic, classic. So, I need to get a new one. But yeah, this is, has been my go-to for right now. I've tried, like, Urban Decay's, and I didn't really like it. So don't shoot me. But, you know, I love Urban Decay. Um, Smashbox had one that I liked for a while, and then I stopped liking it. And then MAC has some good ones. I probably will go to MAC and get one. I don't know. Sephora little sharpener that has a big big sharpener hole for what do I use this for? Oh my Urban Decay concealer stick in color I have no idea because I wiped off or I erased it. I think it's FBI, but that could just be something. But it's a light color and you have to get a big sharpener to sharpen it, so yeah. Another brush I use for like glitter, or if I put, you can use that glitter on your lips too. I did that once, it was pretty cool, but if you forget and lick your lips, you got a mouthful of glitter and that just sucks. So, this is Sephora, um, a glitter, it was a glitter eyeliner, but this is like really, I need to throw this away. I think it's done, but it also is like a, a mascara. I don't really like it too much. Like after a few times the brush sort of bent and I would just go with Urban Decay and pay like five dollars more and get the Urban Decay one. So yeah, that that's going in the trash. I'm so glad we're doing this. So here's another thing. This is by New York and this is um what is this? This is like a sparkle eye dust eyeshadow. I use it like in the corners of my eye and it gives you like this really cool I don't have it on right now, but it gives you this really cool um what am I trying to say? Like glow, shiny effect. I really like. So I have more of those, but yeah. This is Revlon um, eyelash adhesive. Works really good. Okay, this is my Mac. See, Mac gets treated so nice. It's in the box. Um, lipstick. This is for my lipstick face. And this is um, Saint German. This one's pretty good. It's like a gloss and it's very pink. So it just depends on what your face looks like. Um, I wear it sometimes. I won't wear it with any eyeshadow or anything because it looks like too much on my face. But this is like my favorite. This is um, Instant Age Rewind Eraser. A dark spot eraser. And you use it under your eyes. Uh, another MAC lip gloss. I mean lipstick. And this the right shape. But this is um, Matte Dangerous. And it's like an orange. It doesn't look this orange. I like to mix both the colors and then you get like this orange pink coral look and that's usually what I do because it's too orange, but I like it. Um, this is Sephora Jumbo Crown Liner Waterproof and it's like this color violet, 14 violet. This is really cool. It looks really pretty if you want to use it to kind of accent the corners of your eyes or um, if you want to draw your V-Rose heart on your face. Which this is not a tattoo. I get that question like so many times. Um, but this is, you know, some people wear their heart on their sleeve. I wear my heart on my face. Um, and what's in my heart, you know, is um, my relationship with God. So uh, this is my way of showing I'm unashamed. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys join the movement. This, I can't believe, you know, you really do save the best for last. These are my tweezers. I have no idea where I got these. So. Yeah. Um, you can tell that I've used this like so much because all of the words are rubbed off. But this is by Stilla. Yeah. So that's my makeup bag. Um, I want you guys to comment below. Let's talk. I will, once I post this video, stick around in the chat room for about an hour. Um, and try to respond and then all other questions or if I missed you feel free to hit me up on social media I have a fan Instagram it is V Rose just for fans and um, yeah so I get on there um, as often as possible and respond and um, add anybody back who follows me um, and then I got this back from 
Forever 21. You probably have it. It was like a few bucks and it's so cute. Now, okay, so considering that this is my first weekly V, um, I wanted to do a giveaway and I mentioned in the beginning that it was my birthday. So I went to Sephora to get my free birthday gift because I love Sephora. I hope you guys have Sephora where you live because it really is like why I go to the mall. <laughs> they have everything. So um, the coolest thing happened to me this year, I went to Sephora and I got my birthday gift, which was like this, I should have bought it, but it is a um, Peter Thomas Roth face wash and a little mini mask. And it was like a big like portion of it and um, happens to be one of my favorite brands of face facial stuff. But if you guys want, I'll do another video about like my skincare routine and like that kind of stuff because it took me forever to figure it out but finally got it down I think so um anyways I rambled so much got my birthday gift and then I went back and bought something else and they gave me another birthday gift and I was like cool so I am going to give it away and it is this year a NARS lipstick these are amazing let me just tell you I actually have this so that's why I'm gonna give it away it's not in my makeup bag I have a lot more makeup. I throw it into drawers and I do seasons of makeup. So this is the stuff I actually use. Yeah. I buy way too much makeup, but you know, I'm a girl, so what? And uh, I'm gonna give this box away. And I may even just send you the bag. Um, and I'm gonna throw in there this uh, Lancome Paris perfume. It smells really good. Oh my God. Maybe I should keep this. Oh my god, it smells so good, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what to, how to say this. That's totally French. Uh, la vie est belle. La vie est belle. I have no idea what that means. It probably means something really awesome. So anyway, I'm going to give these away. In uh, light of my first weekly V. So all you have to do, I'm not going to ask you to do a million things. Um, just post this video somewhere. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, tag me. Hashtag weekly V and I will announce the winner in next week's weekly V and then I'll send it to you and you'll totally get it in the mail and then you know maybe you can take a picture and post it and I can like repost it and let's talk. So anyway, I'm doing that. I don't usually do giveaways, but since I have something to give away. <laughs> hey. Okay, um last thing on the weekly V and I know this video is super long, so Sorry about that. Um, I want to do question of the week. So, question of the week. Um, my question of the week is what is your favorite day of the week and why? My favorite day of the week is Friday. Even though I don't work a nine to five job, I do. Being an artist is a nine to five job. No, um, Friday though is just my favorite. Not Saturday, not Sunday, don't kill me. Um, <laughs> I love those days too, but Friday just feels like party you know it just feels like oh i want to do something everybody's doing something let's do something so that's mine what's yours remember i'll stick around in an hour in the chat room let's talk if you want to win post my video blah 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 follow me on instagram twitter facebook um at v rose music and please 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 subscribe see you next time